Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Terlebih, dah, terlebih dahulu kami ingin mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada semua atas kesudian menyertai program webinar Seri Perpaduan Tiang Seri Negara yang dianjurkan oleh Kementerian Perpaduan Negara dan Asian Law Students Association Malaysia. Sekarang saya ingin memperkenalkan serba sedikit mengenai moderator kita pada hari ini. Moderator pada hari ini ialah Encik Rosli Dahlan. Beliau ialah Peguam Kanan Rosli Dahlan Saravanan Partnership. Beliau telah melibatkan diri dalam bidang guaman selama lebih 30 tahun dan mempunyai pengalaman khususnya dalam bidang sivil dan komersial. Pencapaian yang tertinggi ialah beliau berjaya memenangi kes yang melibatkan agensi kerajaan dan pernah terlibat dalam judicial review case seperti pemerolehan tanah persendirian yang bertentang dengan undang-undang oleh kerajaan dan lain-lain. Sebelum saya menyerahkan majlis ke Encik Rosli, kita akan mendengar salam perpaduan daripada yang berbahagia Datuk Halimah Muhammad Sadi, Menteri Perpaduan Negara. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera dan salam perpaduan daripada saya Halimah Muhammad Sadi. Saya merasa gembira kerana kita diberi peluang untuk bersua semula pada hari ini dalam episod kedua siri webinar perpaduan yang seri negara. Siri webinar adalah antara usaha penerusan kerajaan melalui Kementerian Perpaduan Negara untuk kita terus memperkukuhkan perpaduan nasional dengan meraihkan kepelbagaian kaum dan budaya di negara kita. Episod pertama bertajuk bersama mengharungi cabaran COVID-19 pada 19 Mei 2020 yang lalu telah pun mendapat sambutan yang baik di mana lebih 10,000 orang telah pun menuntunnya. Sambutan perayaan Hari Raya Aidilfitri, Pesta Keamatan dan Hari Gawai pada tahun ini agak sederhana. Kita tidak dapat pulang ke kampung untuk sama-sama dengan keluarga tercinta. Namun, walaupun jauh di mata, tetapi tetap dekat di hati. Kita masih dapat meraihkan kemeriahannya bersama keluarga kita secara maya melalui Zoom, Skype dan lain-lain. Rumah terbuka secara maya juga tidak kurang hebatnya di mana kita bersama-sama sahabat handai daripada pelbagai bangsa dan agama berkumpul secara maya untuk meraihkan perayaan-perayaan ini. Bagi pihak Kementerian Perpaduan Negara, saya merasa bangga dan berterima kasih kepada mahasiswa-mahasiswi dari Asian Law Students Association Malaysia, ALSA kerana telah sekali lagi mengambil inisiatif untuk menganjurkan siri webinar bagi kali kedua bersama pihak kementerian. Saya juga ingin merakamkan setinggi-tinggi penghargaan dari Kementerian Perpaduan Negara kepada ahli-ahli panel kita yang hebat-hebat pada hari ini. Diskusi kita pada hari ini dengan tajuk kita beraya bersama kepelbagaian diraihkan akan dikendalikan oleh moderator tetap siri webinar kita iaitu Saudara Rosli Dahlan, seorang peguam yang terkenal dari firma guaman Rosli Dahlan Saravana Partnership. Saya difahamkan bahawa beliau sendiri adalah merupakan bekas pesakit COVID-19 yang telah pun sembuh. Dan saya pasti beliau akan berkongsi dengan kita tentang pengalaman-pengalaman beliau beraya bersama keluarga. Diskusi kita pada kali ini diserikan lagi dengan penyertaan Dr. Ilya Gudong, seorang pensyarah dalam bidang ekosistem perhutanan dari negeri Sabah, negeri di bawah Bayu. Dan hari ini juga kita bawa Chef Nick Michael Imran, seorang chef selebriti yang terkenal dari program Master Chef Malaysia dan Cooking for Love terbitan Asia Food Channel. Dan seorang lagi panel kita pada hari ini ialah Yogi B atau nama sebenar beliau Yogi Suaran yang merupakan seorang penyanyi rap yang terkenal sebagai penyanyi utama kumpulan hip hop biotik emo. Saya berharap tema diskusi kita pada petang ini akan mendapat sambutan yang luar biasa khususnya di kalangan mahasiswa dan mahasiswi. Saudara-saudari Kepelbagaian sambutan perayaan di negara ini telah berjaya membina persefahaman dan perasaan hormat menghormati di antara satu sama lain. Persefahaman beginilah 
yang menjadi kunci keharmonian antara pelbagai kaum dan agama di Malaysia. Cara kesimpulannya, kepelbagaian perayaan menjadi medan untuk mengeratkan perpaduan rakyat pelbagai kaum. Semoga dengan kepelbagaian perayaan ini akan terus menyemarakkan lagi keharmonian dan semangat muhibah rakyat Malaysia selaras dengan nilai-nilai murni yang diterapkan dalam prinsip hukum negara. Malaysia, negara kita yang tercinta ini adalah milik kita bersama. Kekalkan perpaduan dan perkukuhkan keharmonian. Sekian, terima kasih. Wabilahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Justru tanpa melengahkan masa, saya ingin menyerahkan majlis kepada moderator kita pada hari ini iaitu Encik Rosti Dahla. Silakan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera kepada semua. Salam hormat kepada yang berhormat Menteri Perpaduan Negara kita, Datuk Halimah Muhammad Sadiq. Terima kasih yang berhormat Menteri kerana meluangkan masa dalam kesibukan yang berhormat dan sudi memberi kata-kata aluan untuk webinar hari ini iaitu perpaduan tiang seri negara yang kedua ini. Bersua kita kembali pada hari ini untuk mengupas aspek kepelbagaian yang kita sangat, sangat raikan dengan harapan untuk memupuk semangat rakyat Malaysia tanpa mengira bangsa dan agama. Terima kasih sekali lagi kepada pihak kementerian dan kepada ALSA kerana menjemput saya buat kali kedua untuk mengemudi perbincangan kita hari ini. Tadi sekretari saya bawa bagi tahu dia kata Cik Rosli lupa. Yang terakhir pun saya pakai baju yang sama. Dia tak ada baju lain pula dia kata. So it's a Friday attire and uh, I must remember if I'm invited the third time not to wear the same uh, baju kurta ni. Uh, sudah tentunya isu perkauman di Malaysia ini masih lagi antara topik topik hangat yang dibualkan dalam kalangan masyarakat kita. Namun bak kata pepatah berkelahi di hujung batang balik ke pangkal batang. Itulah sikap rakyat Malaysia yang ibarat satu keluarga besar di mana setiap perselisihan membawa kepada penyatuan kembali. We are a family. Air yang dicincang tidak akan putus. Despite our differences, we focus on our similarities and commonalities. We are truly Asia. Malaysia is truly Asia. We have unity in diversity. Jadi sebentar tadi yang berhormat Menteri telah memperkenalkan secara ringkas ahli panel kita pada hari ini. Jadi biarkan saya, izinkan saya untuk memberikan sedikit latar belakang mereka. Dr. Elia Gudu'om, the pretty lady here, you can see, uh, is a pencarah kanan di Institut Biologi dan Pemeliharaan Tropika University Malaysia Sabah, UMS. Uh, she is a graduate of the Zurich University. Beliau merupakan pakar dalam forest conservation. On this, I have an affinity with her because I love nature too. And I was just uh, bragging a bit. This is how we climb mountains. And therefore, I love conservationists like her who will ensure that the beautiful Malaysia we have can be enjoyed by our later generations. Uh, Dr. Gudu'ong is a very famous uh, internationally. She has been appointed sebagai pakar teknikal untuk penilaian lapangan Tamanti Wildlife Sanctuary dan Tanintayi Nature Reserve ASEAN Heritage Park di Myanmar. Um, so I think we have a perfect, um, a beautiful lady to introduce our beautiful country and our nature. And because the topic here is about raya, therefore no one better than to introduce Chef Nick Michael Imran. Uh, before we came on air just now, I told him I met him some years ago. I was slightly younger then, but he was the heartthrob of that day and he is the heartthrob again today. A very handsome Nick Michael Imran. Uh, he selalunya menghiasi kajian TV kita sebagai celebrity chef. Um, by his look, you can tell that he is kacukan, uh, Pan-Asian, Malaysian-Australian, uh, dan terkenal sebagai master chef in Malaysia. He was born in Australia, dibesarkan uh, di bawah pengaruh arah ayahnya yang merupakan seorang chef dan pemilik restoran Italy. His passion for cooking telah mendorong beliau dan ayahnya untuk membuat muka sebuah cafe, piknik di Kuala Lumpur. Chef Nick kini membintangi The Asian Food Channel AFC Original Series 
uh, Tea Twist and Cooking for Love. His fame has now made him the brand ambassador for Panasonic than AFC. The third person is, of course, the famous Yogi B. He's more famous when we talk about um, <clears throat> poetic ammo in the 1990s. I just told uh, Yogi that uh, I'm his fan. Poetic ammo uh, is an iconic team for Malaysia. And what is more uh, uh, we're proud of is that uh, of late, he's been able to break into the Indian music scene where he uh, produces quite a number of songs um, for Rajinikan movie. Any uh, Tamil movie goers will know about Rajinikan. And here we have our own Yogi B being the uh, musical arrangers and uh, performers for most of that movie. Yogi B adalah telah uh, menerima uh, jemputan dari E.R. Rahman yang merupakan pemenang Golden Globes, Oscars and Grammy Award. Uh, dan dia telah juga menyebut Yogi B untuk menyanyikan lagu-lagu dalam filem Rajinikan. Jadi saudara-saudari, tanpa membuang masa, uh, kita di Malaysia amat beruntung kerana silaturahim sering diperbaharui apabila kita, uh, apabila perayaan menjelma. Perayaan-perayaan seperti Hari Raya Aidilfitri, sementara lagi akan Hari, uh, Hari Raya Aidiladha, Tahun Baru Cina di Pabali, Pesta Keamatan dan Hari Gawai menjadi medan penyatuan dan keharmonian bagi pelbagai kaum di Malaysia. Jadi bila musim perayaan, tak kiralah kita Islam, Cina, Hindu atau Kristian, kita semua suka berkongsi raya, berkongsi cuti dan paling penting berkongsi angpau dan duit raya. Not for people like me anymore lah, we are the givers now. Bila cuti raya, orang Cina, orang Melayu, orang India dan kaum-kaum lain juga sibuk balik kampung. Jadi it's not uh, confined to that particular communities. Bila cuti raya Adil Fitri atau Hari Raya Haji, orang Cina dan kaum lain juga uh, berhari raya. Jadi pada hari ini, apa yang kita lakukan atau mahu lakukan ialah we start off yeah, with, although there are, there's a lady, but we start off with the chef first. When we talk about kita raya bersama, kepelbagaian diraihkan. Now chef, Nick Michael Imran, tell us, raya. yeah, as a chef, how do you think perayaan melalui makanan juga, boleh menyatukan kita sebagai rakyat Malaysia. Uh, first of all, thank you so much uh, for the opportunity, Alsa, for um, having me on your webinar, and thank you so much, Encik Rosli, for the warm welcome. And uh, hello again to my fellow panelists. Great to be working with you guys. So, celebrating Raya through food. Um, well, not just Raya, any celebration. I think you know the number one thing that that is the incentive, especially for me, is the food. Uh, every time orang ada buat open house ke apa, um, it's always, uh, especially for me, the question is always, uh, sedap tak rendang saya? <laughs> and I uh, I often find myself having to say, inilah rendang yang paling sedap tau ni, every single house I go to. And I find that, you know, that is um, the universal experience that uh, unites all of us, no matter the race, no matter the community, no matter the religion. Um, at the end of the day, we know what kind of food to expect at people's houses. And we know what it's supposed to taste like. And we're all our own personal professional, personal uh, critic uh, when it comes to knowing these flavors and what to expect. And uh, I find that, you know, the best thing about all these different flavors and all these different dishes that we expect is that, you know, we're always arguing who has the best rendang, who has uh, the best dishes. And we're always fighting as well, saying, oh, makcik aku punya lagi sedap lah, my neighbor punya lagi sedap lah. But at the end of the day, what makes us all agree that our rendang is the best is when we have to fight for it with other countries. And to me, that is, is the beauty that, that divides and unites all of us. Uh, there's no better the rendang than the rendang that comes from our country. It's a lovely opening statement by uh, Chef uh, Nick Michael. Um, we will now ask Dr. Elia Gudum because, um, you know, uh, the last occasion when we had this chat, we had academicians and lawyers. And instead of becoming perpaduan, we started off quite, you know, spicy and uh, AM63 and all those things. So Dr. Gudum, coming from our Bonion states where the most beautiful sceneries, mountains and so on, um, what have you got to say in regard to 
hari perayaan yang boleh menyatukan kita sebagai bangsa Malaysia. Okey. Uh, mungkin belum terlambat lagi untuk saya ucapkan selamat hari raya. Adil Fitri untuk semua rakyat Malaysia. Um, thank you, um, Tuan Rosli. Um, Okey, melalui perayaan ini, biasanya di Sabah kita akan lihat um, ia merupakan salah satu aktiviti ataupun program yang paling um, popular ataupun um, paling meriah untuk um, rakyat Sabah itu berganding ataupun um, meraihkan bersama setiap kali perayaan. So, dia punya excitement itu bukan saja um, datang daripada um, masyarakat yang uh, meraihkan. Contohnya, uh, kita meraihkan baru-baru ini meraihkan uh, hari Pesta Menuai. So, um, Pesta Menuai ini sebenarnya diraihkan oleh uh, kaum Kedazan Dusun. Tapi secara yang kita, uh, kalau kita tahu uh, masyarakat Kedazan Dusun ini, um, pada ketika ini, sekarang ini semuanya sudah um, mempunyai uh, kepercayaan masing-masing. Um, ada yang menganut agama Islam, ada yang menganut um, agama Kristian, macam-macam lah. Tapi um, kita masih lagi um, excited um, untuk meraihkan Um, budaya um, yang turun temurun di bawah oleh nenek moyang kita. So pada masa yang sama um, kita wujudkan satu um, respect, um, perasaan hormat menghormati, um, toleransi menghargai sesuatu budaya itu walaupun kita sudah mempunyai kepercayaan keagamaan masing-masing. Um, dan di situlah terjalinnya satu um, ikatan, ikatan um, perpaduan. Uh, walaupun um, bukan masyarakat Dusun Kadazan saja meraihkan masyarakat yang sudah berkahwin campur di, di Sabah juga turut um, apa tu excited untuk um, menunggu perayaan ini diraihkan bersama sebab nenek moyang dia daripada bangsa uh, Cina dan dia sudah jadi Sino Kadazan um, jadi um, dia sudah multi faith and multi racial um, enjoying the same culture and uh, respect the individual punya um, faith and um, kepercayaan masing-masing lah. Jadi um, peraya dengan mengadakan rumah terbuka juga di di Sabah, um, ia juga boleh menjalinkan satu um, apa ni. Um, kaedah untuk kita um, merealisasikan untuk um, membawa rakyat itu ber, bersatu padu. Jadi kita ada satu... You're not advocating that we should semenanjung people kahwin dengan orang Sabah eh? because you're talking about intermarriages and so on. Ya, yeah. uh, ramai juga orang semenanjung yang sudah berkahwin dengan orang Sabah dan um, mereka macam feel, feel the, the, the perayaan. Dalam keluarga saya sendiri sudah um, mungkin hampir setiap negeri di Malaysia ni ada ada wakil untuk um, bersama dengan keluarga kami di Sabah dan um, kebanyakan mereka juga enjoy dan sudah cuba memahami dan um, cuba pula bawa um, kegembiraan mereka itu ke, ke semenanjung jadi keluarga mereka juga macam menghargai dan happy lah tengok um, saudara mara dia yang sudah berkahwin ataupun sudah sudah berhijrah ke Sabah itu sebenarnya happy di sini kan. Jadi um, di sana juga kita boleh menjalinkan hubungan um, in internegeri, <laughs> interstate kan. So daripada pulau ke tanah besar, kita boleh menjalinkan perpaduan itu. Nick, Yogi, there's an invitation. If you're still single or if the quota is still not fulfilled, go to Sabah, they're available. Yeah, and you can have intermarriages. Yogi. I told you you are my idol as far as rap songs are concerned. Yeah, can you tell us from your perspective as a musician? Of course, we will talk about perayaan, but as a musician, what can unite us, especially when we have musics during the uh, special occasions, uh, festivities, and so on? Um, the the role of music in festivities, right? 
Um, yes. So, uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you. Terima kasih kepada uh, YB Datuk uh, Halimah, uh, Menteri Perpaduan Negara. Um, uh, dan kemudian, uh, Encik Rosli, uh, my fellow Palinist, and, and also kepada semua uh, um, um, anggota ALSA. Uh, terima kasih untuk jemputan ini. And uh, to me, the role of music uh, in penyatuan uh, masyarakat Malaysia uh, dari segi keharmonian uh, dan uh, dan perpaduan uh, is very important. Uh, ia adalah satu aspek yang integral uh, kerana melalui uh, muzik um, uh, salah satu uh, seni yang memang um, yang semua orang uh, boleh um, Uh, boleh rasa dan uh, boleh menikmati secara natural kerana uh, uh, ritma dan uh, dan bunyi nada adalah satu yang uh, secara natural kita boleh appreciate. So um, music has always been integral in semua uh, perayaan uh, daripada hari raya di Pawali kepada Christmas uh, dan semua perayaan uh, uh, di Sabah Sarawak and uh, daripada perayaan menua and all that. So music is is always in the center. Dan uh, untuk saya um, dari budak kecil sampai uh, no sampai no uh, even till uh, till now music uh, bila masa raya saja kita kita boleh dengar lagu raya and bila lagu raya datang saja kita boleh like dah, dah masuk feel uh, raya so uh, kalau tak ada lagu raya tak tak rasa pula macam raya kan so uh, music is very important sama juga dengan uh, hari di poli dengan hari Christmas dan semua So um, uh, sebagai uh, pemuzik uh, saya um, dari kecil lagi um, uh, bila I keluar untuk beraya dengan my friends and all that uh, uh, it's always been a very joyful uh, experience uh, and saya dengan kawan-kawan saya dari sekolah rendah ke menengah uh, uh, bukan kita nakal sangat tapi kita nakal <laughs> secara secara macam Uh, all boys ah uh, saya sekolah primary di St Gabriel uh, dan secondary di VI so uh, dan saya mula rap uh, daripada sekolah uh, menengah so um, untuk saya music is always been integral untuk memupuk keharmonian dan uh, silaturahim uh, di antara satu bangsa uh, ke berbangsa lain and uh, daripada merdeka uh, daripada lagu Uh, national I mean uh, national anthem kita uh, kepada uh, kepada um, semua lagu perayaan uh, music is is uh, always there uh, in in uh, in national unity thank you yogi that's a interesting point uh, you know other than food we talk about music because that's the diversity of our culture nick um As a chef and uh, someone who um, come from, in that sense, a mixed Asian parentage, Asian and uh, uh, Australian, uh, Australian, yes. Um, you grew up partly in Australia as well. For a very short time, uh, I moved back here when I was a year and a half. So, for all intents and purposes, I am almost born and bred Malaysian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, But the community that you mix would be also, in that sense, broader than for us, where we mix amongst Malaysians. Uh, what would you say uh, adalah ciri-ciri kita bangsa Malaysia? Because kita, when you talk about bangsa, you know, of course, there are bangsa Sabah, bangsa Sarawak. But let's talk about bangsa Malaysia, penyatuan bangsa Malaysia. How would food, music, and then, of course, uh, uh, nature uh, play a part uh, untuk kita menyatukan? Uh, pembinaan sebuah bangsa Malaysia yang lebih uh, berpadu uh, dan uh, harmonious in your view so from the way i look at it is that um, it is very difficult to get us any closer as uh, separate races because i feel personally to me that we are already as close as we can be because all of us are extremely proud of our culture and our heritage and our race But that also is what makes us Malaysian. I feel that appreciating and being proud of our own uh, heritage uh, makes us first and foremost a Malaysian. I think, you know, like for me, uh, thinking that I am a, a Malay, 
I do also feel a sense of ownership to the other festivities and celebrations around me, the other kinds of foods and music. Uh, it all invokes an emotion in me that makes me extremely proud, uh, which represents the fact that, first and foremost, I am a Malaysian. I, I don't feel like there is a separation of uh, maybe maybe from uh, religion or from from skin color or from you know background, but I don't feel like there is a separation of being proud of each and every race separately and together. Thanks. Uh, that brings us to our friends in the Bonion states. Yeah, uh, Doctor Gudung. Uh, of late, there has been a lot of uh, issues between Semenanjo, Orang Malaya, dengan Orang Sabah dan Sarawak. Uh, can you give us your perspective of it? And how can we reduce uh, those kind of uh, uncharacteristic uh, uh, differences? Rather, we should be uh, um, looking at uh, our commonalities. Uh, let's take Sabah first because then we'll go into the micro issues of the different races. But let's take Sabah first. Okay, um, yeah, mungkin isu kau orang Melaya, aku orang Sabah tu <laughs> sudah lama wujud. Tapi um, sebenarnya di Sabah perkara tu kita boleh tangani. Cuma mungkin ada kelompok-kelompok atau kumpulan-kumpulan kecil yang um, bersuara besar yang um, menjadi um, menjadi provokasi membuat provokasi tentang isu-isu seperti ini sebenarnya um, dalam um, secara keseluruhan kalau uh, orang Melaya datang ke Sabah tidak ada isu itu di, yang tidak ada isu yang sensit uh, yang 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 serius tentang itu berlaku di Sabah dan kami welcome kita menghargai dan we appreciate that we have um, relatives from peninsula coming here and um, kami selalu welcome. So untuk memupuk, um, untuk uh, menangani masalah ini, saya rasa uh, sekarang pun sudah semakin uh, kita di dalam um, proses untuk memperbaiki keadaan lah. Um, mungkin kita perlu memupuk uh, daripada kanak-kanak lagi. So Um, macam kanak-kanak tu apa yang kita lontarkan apa bahasa ataupun perkataan yang selalu kita sebut mereka dengar dan mereka akan terikut-ikut dan lekat di di minda mereka so um, to me why not we start to like um, jangan ada um, per, uh, wujudkan perbezaan di antara kita we are Malaysian kalau masa kecil-kecil saya dengar lagu negara lain saya bangsa Indonesia Okey, uh, itu contohlah lagu. Kenapa di Indonesia itu ada banyak bangsa? Tapi bila dia menyanyi dia kata dia bangsa Indonesia. Indonesia itu adalah negara. So, kenapa kita di Malaysia harus ada um, harus memperkenalkan kepada anak-anak kita bahawa uh, dia orang Semenanjung, orang Melaya, kita orang Sabah, dia orang Sarawak. So, why not we start tell people um, or tell the the students our kids um, we are malaysian so um, kalau apa tu kita biasa mem- membiasakan mereka mendengar we are malaysian mereka akan macam oh dia membesar dengan perasaan macam we are malaysian so bukan saya sabahan dia sarawakian dia dia melaya so um, dan kita cuba ignore lah benda-benda yang kecil tu yang Ignore mereka yang bersuara besar tapi berakal kecil itu agar um, dia tidak mempengaruhi kita. So um, sebagai ibu bapa ataupun orang yang lebih dewasa kita harus memainkan peranan dan kita harus bersatu untuk bersetuju menggunakan satu slogan We Are Malaysian. So um, mana yang negatif kita pandang tepi letak tepi. So we must have one we must must unite have the apa kita mesti ber United, okay, um, bersatu dengan satu slogan We are Malaysian. Itu itu pandangan saya lah. Thank you, Yogi. You kept talking tadi pasal lagu-lagu Hari Raya. Mana lagu rap Raya kita nak dengar daripada Yogi? Ada tak? You need to put on the unmute yourself, Yogi. Ah, uh, tahun ni kita uh, akan buat satu uh, lagu Unity lah. 
uh, hopefully you know we will embark on this uh, unity wrap and you know with the support from uh, Kementerian Perpaduan uh, we'll release one end of the year for sure Yogi it's not yes, enough huh? pasal ah. apa kita nak minta chef Michael ah. Nick Michael ah. hantar makanan tak boleh <laughs> maybe just to spice up this afternoon can you do a short rap for us short on rap. Uh, yes now short this is now. unplanned this is uh, unplanned and that's why we want to hear you our maybe genius I'll, musical genius uh, i'll do my uh, most famous uh, english song that everybody knows me for for now It's called money, money. Uh, maybe uh, no, the Alsa students will remember when they listen to this. I do it, okay? Um, ma, 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 ma. What makes the world go ha, 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 ha? Every woman want to ba, 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 ba. It's all about the money, 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 money. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a few lines. <laughs> oh, man. That's incredible. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Terima kasih. The next event for Kementerian for Baduan definitely he will come and perform. Yeah, man. We must do that. Yeah. Think, you know, yes, when sir. we talk about Raya, every yes. year kita dapat melawat. This year is a bit different lah, Nick. So, how can you tell us, you know, I mean, I met you at the big Raya do at your father-in-law's place. Yeah. So now, in this kind of MCO, PKP and all kinds of Uh, e, PKP, B, PKP, oh, dah lupa dah kita kan. Uh, how do you think and, and what was your, give us uh, the experience of this year punya Raya dalam keadaan kita tak boleh melawat dan sebagainya. Uh, Raya was um, extremely subdued uh, for us this year because uh, of, of PKP. Uh, how it was for us, I mean normally uh, the Malam Raya, the night before, it's a big gathering, uh, my whole family would get together, we would takbir Raya together. Uh, sleep as late as possible so that we can wake up as early as possible for Semayang Raya. Uh, this year, it was it was extremely difficult where, you know, Malam Raya felt uh, completely empty. Uh, the, after we had our final buka puasa, there was pretty much nothing to do except for reminisce how different the world is now. Uh, but come Raya morning, you know, uh, it was it was great for us because it was just the, the close family that was here. My, uh, my wife's siblings came over. Uh, we had um, just just a close family. Uh, makan pagi raya, rendang is always uh, amazing. We took a family photo, and uh, we had nothing else to do the whole day. <laughs> rendang so was cooked by you or by your wife? <laughs> no, uh, rendang was uh, was actually bought. Uh, uh, my mother my mother in law has um, has her favorite rendang supplier, so uh, it was from them. But we made our own ketupats. That one is a must. <laughs> Mr. Gudun, um, are you based in KL or are you based in uh, in Sabah? You need to un- uh, unmute yourself. Sorry, yeah, I'm based in Sabah. Right. And, and how was Raya there under the situation of PKP? Oh, so um, in Sabah, actually, during the PKP, um, we are not following the... Um, the federal um, announcement which allowing us together within um, 20 person per house. In Sabah, we still not allowed to do that, but we are still um, feel the, the, the uh, festival very, very well because of our never, never penyibok young Chinese come over and like, Selamat Hari Raya yelling at our house. So we don't feel like we are Sunyi. We are um, like um, alone because um, we have um, a very prihatin um, community surround us. And then with this normal baru and um, beraya secara maya, it's also um, actually create um, a very um, exciting um environment to the elderly especially who don't really use uh, all these uh, new gadgets so bila dia nampak muka dia dalam screen and say hello dia sudah cukup happy and we sharing like i have this kuih 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 and then uh, we teasing each other we we wish each other and they they understand the situation tapi mereka happy sebab First time masuk macam dalam screen, dalam TV kan. So, <laughs> itu pun sudah buat mereka gembira. So, um, 
di Sabah kita happy juga merayakan sebab kebetulan kita merayakan um, tidak lama itu kita sambung dengan perayaan Hari Menuai. Now, I, I, I'm, I, I don't want to incriminate you because Chef uh, Nick Michael said that his was fairly somber tapi you punya, you kata sangat meriah. I hope you're not breaking the SOP or the PKP. <laughs> no, we are so loyal. So, <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, kita happy and we we follow the rules. Tidak ada yang melanggar kecuali yang kita tidak tahu. Uh, tapi kena suruh balik kan. <laughs> so um, apa tu? Selain daripada itu, kita juga tolong menilai, membantu orang yang memasuki pertandingan dalam perayaan um, pesta keamatan ni. Kita ada peraya, pertandingan menyanyi dan kal, yang sangat famous tu untuk ngadau kan? Pernah dengar untuk ngadau pertandingan uh, macam ratu cantik lah. Tapi dia ada cerita dia tersendiri untuk untuk ngadau ni. So dia bukan macam ratu cantik yang biasa-biasa tu lah. Uh, tapi kita um, untuk yang pertandingan menyanyi ni, uh, kita akan pilih yang terbaik setiap tahun. Jadi um, tahun ni dengan kreativiti masing-masing, banyaklah kita tolong judging dalam uh, Facebook apa semua. So banyak masa tu digunakan juga untuk membantu. Um, Lagu apa tu, Dr. Dugudung? Tumandak Sabah Pandai Masak Nasi <laughs> Oh, fantastic! <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> itu antara yang apa itu, uh, lagu popular lah untuk semua golongan masyarakat kan untuk happy-happy yeah. saja. Yeah. Yogi, you have a, uh, a competitor there with a nice <laughs> voice. Yeah, so, yeah, very pleasant okay. voice. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, is that an invitation for her to look at an alternative career? Uh, yeah, definitely. Sabahans have got uh, a lot of uh, amazing talent there. I've got uh, one of my first singles was also sung by a Sabahan. I've got a lot of Sabahan friends there, and uh, every time I go there, the uh, the the the, uh, the the whole. Uh, the whole the lifestyle and the culture of Sabah is, is just full of music, arts, and culture. They're very rich uh, society. There's a question for you, and that is this. Lagu apa yang Yogi B rasa paling speak of perpaduan? I'm, I'm reading it verbatim, jadi I tak nak uh, reconstruct me a sentence. Dia kata, lagu apa yang paling speak of perpaduan, Yogi? Perpaduan for us, I think... Would be Negaraku, our national anthem. Uh, uh, it is a. You're it playing is, it safe, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, but uh, it, I'm playing it safe. Uh, but uh, actually, I think uh, Negaraku needs to be recorded uh, to, uh, with a full band. You uh, know, with uh, you know the marching band with very, you uh, know, uh, with, with kegumuruhan, uh, the snare drums. You know, and be played and recorded to a world class standard, and and it has to be. It, it, it has to be done that way so that we can arrive at um, at the 4K 2020 HD world, you know, uh, in in full valor. So um, I uh, and I think our national anthem uh, needs to how shall I say uh, have a high fi a high HD version. Uh, apart from that, negaraku di rap kan? Bagaimana bunyinya agaknya tu? I think. Would you try to do it? I have not. I've not uh, rapped Negaraku because I think uh, legally, I, I'm not sure you have, to, you have to tell me whether I'll get in trouble if I do that. <laughs> uh, but selain daripada itu, I used to do beatbox of uh, Negaraku. Uh, you meaning, did? Uh, yeah, meaning I will just do the beat and, uh, and, uh, and the melody that. of it. Let's hear that. We're on well, a Friday almost. afternoon, you're going to let's hear that. Let's <laughs> hear that. that. I haven't done that in a long time. Um, it's okay. Uh, Something like that. I haven't done yeah. that in like the minister is listening to this 
and we have to compliment the minister because this kind of webinars allow us to loosen up a bit. And I'm sure Yang Bohumat Menteri Halimah Sadiq, you know, will appreciate this. And I think you've just found yourself probably a contract to perform <laughs> at the Kementerian Perpaduan punya uh, events. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you. As long as I don't get in trouble for doing a remix of the national anthem, I'm okay. <laughs> All in good case. I'm sure the minister will approve of this. I have Thank a you. question actually from not yeah. from me. This is from Muhammad Kushairi and sounds like a bit of a serious question. It is directed at Chef Nick Michael. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Saya ingin menunjukkan soalan buat Chef Nick dalam pandangan Chef bagaimana industri culinary boleh meningkatkan perpaduan sesama kaum. Oh, hard question. Sure. <laughs> um I think there's there's two angles to this. Uh, number one is that uh, industri culinary ni memang sebenarnya satu industri yang uh, sangat rapat, uh, yang tak ada uh, belah bagi antara kaum. Um, and I say this because, you know, when you are working hard, uh, it doesn't matter if it's in a cafe or a restaurant or a warung or a hotel, uh, there comes a time when you and your team are in the slums and you have a lot of work to do, you have a lot of mouths to feed and there's just so much high stress that nothing is a, a better um, a bonding material than that high stress environment. It's, it's tough being a chef. It's tough working in the culinary world. And I feel like there is no uh, difference of, of race when it comes to that. And in that sense, you know, there, there is no... There's no better way untuk kita merapatkan sama sendiri dalam industri ni. Tapi pada masa yang sama, there's also um, a difference in race when it comes to this uh, industry. When we talk about the different cuisines that are out there, uh, for example, if you if you look at the uh, Malay kampung food, it's a, it's extremely difficult, not just for other races, but also for the younger cooks, the younger uh, students, the younger chefs, to learn these dishes because there is that separation of uh, somewhat, you know, power or experience or knowledge, and and they try to keep it at bay and you know, try to keep it close to heart, uh, keep it a secret. There's also, you know, the Chinese hawkers that have, you know, family old um, traditional recipes that they will not part with, and I feel like there is a little bit of a division there where we we should be sharing these things and not uh, building up a wall and protecting it. Because uh, when you go move forward and, and uh, you know, in due time, what you're going to have is we're going to lose all these traditional recipes. And that is a big, big loss for us as a nation. Uh, and, and this is a great segue for me to move on and, and mention my uh, website called batikichap.com. The reason why I built uh, this website about three years ago is um, essentially so that we do not lose our recipes. Uh, it's also to build a definitive guide to Malaysian food. It doesn't matter the race. We want to keep it all. We want to keep our heritage. Um, and it's also trying to bring that whole experience that we had uh, many, many years ago, to me, a, a truly Malaysian experience, which is that uh, dulu dulu open house is something that is done every day. You know, petang petang orang habis sekolah. You know, your your doors are always open. Your neighbors' kids will come over. We would always go over to our neighbors' house. Doesn't matter what race, we're always uh, sharing each other's kids. The responsibility of taking care of each other, and there was no division there. And I feel like now, especially in the online world, uh, we've built too many walls and we become too separated. So Batik Ichap is there for us to come back together, to open our doors, to open our, our stories, our knowledge, our education, our, our heritage, to share with each other and claim it as one. And inshallah, uh, we do not lose any of the recipes of our nation. Yogi, so we unite people through food. How do we unite people through rap? There's a question uh, actually. Okay. Uh, rap music um, started in the Bronx in 1995, 1975, sorry, 1975. And uh, it started from uh, from love. Basically, uh, DJ Cool Herc, the father of hip hop, he wanted to throw a party for his sister. So he um, took whatever money that he had, he went and brought, uh, bought records and it was a, a summer break, I think. Um, he, he called everybody and he threw... Uh, hip, the first hip hop party, and hip hop was born from that, uh, from then. So, um, love, love, and um, uh, and music unites people. How does how does uh, how does rap unite this country? 
the first album that i did in 1997 took from that inspiration and un- uh, i understood that the ide- ideology I- uh, ideology rap hip hop ni adalah penyatuan dan um, dan basically love you know uh, it's a good uh, a, it's a good vibe so uh, in 1997 i released an album that had all three la- uh, languages ada bahasa melayu ada bahasa cina ada bahasa india because i understood that hip hop music and music in general is about unification of people in general and even a country because perkataan harmony also is a musical term you know everybody has a different so that note song, that song had all the three languages in it uh the album had three languages in it uh so we uh, we were the first group in 1997 to have all three languages in a hip hop album and that album won uh, anugrah industry music because we always took um took music and blended it with our identities a lot of our generations today forget that uh, music has to have an ideology and an identity you cannot just ape something from the west especially what's happening right now with a lot of trap music a lot of crazy music today is like crazy it's like colorful they they are they're just going wild those days we were all wild but we did not lose our identity uh, the late sudirman uh, was an amazing artist and he could sing he could dance he he went then he 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 rocked an entire street of chowkit uh, you know and the first uh, sh- show that had thousands of people but what did he do he wore the colors of the national flag so identity and music is always must come together um and that is how music unifies a nation and what i do rap music does that as well so what we do in the underground is that the hip hop boys uh the malay boys who rap in malay the chinese boys who rap a bit in uh, no, it's a very small community and the tamil boys we all come together for the mainstream hip hop scene that has been happening from 1990s till now and we we celebrate we identify and we always emphasize on being together and that malaysian identity uh that keeps the youth sane and not go crazy and ape everything that the you know uh, that the, that comes out from the west uh and uh and it keeps um uh, it keeps um it keeps culture grounded music uh, music keeps a uh, culture ground because what you sing is what will be running in your head it's what your kids will sing what will be running on the radio and uh, that 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 repetition will become your lifestyle and your thought so music is 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 like fire you you know you can you can burn a generation or you can you know you can uh, uh, you can you can light uh, a lot of minds that's how music keeps uh, youth especially and society uh, unified we talk about all the unity and so on but there is a provocative question for ilia <laughs> and the question is this apakah perpaduan di sabah better than semenanjung If so, kenapa ya? <laughs> Soalan tu susah untuk jawab. Okay, perpaduan itu um, uh, kadang-kadang terlalu subjektif kan, dan juga sensitif. Um, tidak adil kalau saya bagi tahu di Sabah ini perpaduannya lebih bagus di Sabah berbanding Semenanjung. Tetapi um, di Sabah setakat ni kita tidak ada kita tidak kenal China, kita tidak kenal India, kita tidak kenal bangsa-bangsa itu dan ini kita tahu kita adalah Sabahan Malaysian. So we don't call our friend itu India, itu China. We don't call our friend like that. So um, but when I was this is my experience when I was in um, Peninsula Um, saya boleh lihat bila saya ke ke restoran um, bila tengok saya ni muka macam Cina dia kata you don't sit with the, 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 the itu Cina jangan duduk semeja dengan dia so um, mungkin it, itu adalah salah satu yang saya bagi tahu tadi tu tidak semua tempat macam tu lah so kemungkinan pada ketika itu saya berada di tempat yang seperti itu tapi bila saya berada di tempat yang lain Um, sama saja macam um, pengalaman saya tinggal di Putrajaya di 
Kuala Lumpur lebih kurang. So um, we 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 actually have that perpaduan. Cuma um, kita kena kawal lah. Ada kumpulan-kumpulan yang suka buat provokasi. Itulah yang saya bagi tak saya saya cuba um, cuba um, ketengahkan di sini. Um, kita cuba um, jangan terpengaruh dengan kumpulan-kumpulan seperti ini. So kalau kita ignore kumpulan ini akan semakin kecil tidak akan membesar. So biar kita yang besar um, yang beranggapan positif berfikiran positif ini lebih besar berbandingan kumpulan yang kecil itu maka um, sebenarnya it, um, perpaduan itu boleh um, ter, terjalin di situ. So, um, so, so you agree therefore to the question uh, kerana soalannya ialah adakah perpaduan lebih akrab lebih genuin Ya, lebih padu di Sabah, Sabah daripada di Semenanjung. So, to a certain extent, are you are you confirming that fact? <laughs> um, uh, jangan marah. <laughs> Frankly speaking, yes, I agree. Um, based on my own experience. So, um, macam yang saya bagi tahu tadi lah, bila kita berada di Sabah ini, kita tidak panggil dia Cina, dia India, dia apa. So. Bila kita di Semenanjung kita nampak benda tu kan, we we see that oh itu India punya, itu India punya kedai. So itu pun kita boleh menilai, kita boleh menilai um, tahap perpaduan sesuatu um, community tersebut. So I'm agree that um, if you want to um, to um, jika kita ingin um, keluarkan benda negatif seperti ini, kita harus berhenti. Um, mengasingkan diri kita dan kita kena memahami culture orang lain barulah kita boleh menghargai dan appreciate dan hormat culture lain dan terima mereka buka hati kita buka hati kita untuk menerima um, manusia ni adalah sama sebenarnya cuma kita dibezakan dengan warna kulit saja tapi semua yang di dalam tu kan sama jadi kita ni manusia mesti um, fikir kita ni semua sama jadi jangan ada Uh, jangan suka membezakan um, perkaum uh, apa men, 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 mengusulkan um, apa tu perkauman menimbulkan isu perkauman itu sangat sensitif. Tapi ini balik kepada Nick tadi dia kata uh, untuk kita mencapai perpaduan semua setuju kurangkan bercakap tentang bangsa lain, agama lain dan sebagainya. Tapi kan kita sebagai masyarakat majmuk Malaysia Nick tadi kata we have to appreciate each other's culture. Jadi bukankah adakah pertembungan di antara perbezaan culture atau budaya atau uh, uh, etnik sesuatu bangsa uh, dengan at the same time menafikan terdapat perbezaan etnik uh, uh, tersebut ni. Pada saya saya rasa masalah yang kita hadapi sekarang ni is the question itself. Why must we ask the question, is Sabah better than Semenajung? I think that is the crux of the issue. Why are you raising? Yeah, he's uh, being very defensive, Ilya. Saying that kita tak kita tak kurang daripada Semenajung, uh, Sabah. <laughs> Uh, you know, the reality is we all have our own experiences and um, that, that little sort of time that we have with those experiences will, will make us have a different view of these differences. Tapi, if, if I put the question to you, um, uh, let's say, for example, between a country like China and Malaysia, which one has more uh, perpaduan? Without a doubt, everyone in Malaysia will say, it's us. Look at our races, look at our heritage, look at our cultures. And I think that is what we should all be focusing on, not questioning Semenanjung dengan Sabah, which is better. You know, it's it's not the right question. It's not where our focus should go and it's it's a waste of time. Correct. I agree with Nick. So we should stop to ask that kind of questions. So um, soalan-soalan macam tu dia... Bukan saya tanya ya, Ilya. Itu soalan <laughs> daripada... <laughs> Ya yeah, betul. <laughs> Tapi saya agree dengan pendapat Nick lah. So soalan itu sepatutnya tidak disoal oleh siapa pun dalam uh, rakyat Malaysia. Sepatutnya kita berhenti untuk um, mempersoalkan um, isu-isu seperti itulah. Jangan berhentilah membezakan um, diri kita dengan orang lain kan. Terutama sekali dalam isu keagamaan dan um, bangsa lah. Just to um, I think yang, yang doctor... senang kita kahwin kahwin campur lah dengan Sabah ni. Jadi <laughs> dia tak ada, ada beza dah. Yogi is like, enjoy that, Yogi. <laughs> no, no, actually my friend is married to a Sabahan. 
and uh, and actually two of my friends indian guys are very in sabha and they are very patriotic sabahan people are very patriotic they will never give in to the state and you know on on any level if we say sabanajong you know has got this in sabha does it uh, and i think if if anything we can learn from you know um, uh, bonians on on uh, on uh, on be uh, feeling proud about their community and uh, and as what doctor said as well uh, and my friend i agree um, but um, we should learn we should learn uh, how to bridge the gap and i think one of the key aspects why how we should bridge, bridge the gap um, is that we should learn about common values for example whenever i get uh, together with my malay friends and chinese friends and all that we always have common values today we our common value is unity and we are united with with values that values um, i think there is a great opportunity for us to focus on what is our value simple values when malay uh, kids uh, chinese kids indian kids sabah kids all get together they play together without any differences they play fairly fairness is a good value keadilan uh, no kesaksamaan you know kejujuran benda-benda ni adalah satu, uh, nilai-nilai yang kita patut fokus dan um, um, memberi tumpuan yang yang um, mem, mem, membawa keperpaduan antara kita sama lain because if we don't focus on nilai-nilai yang ada pada semua bangsa dan semua agama uh, kita uh, akan we will lose focus on uh, you know uh, what makes this country uh, great so there is something some, i think we really need to focus on okay uh, it's an interesting question that has come through Um, uh, it's got to do with the chef and how the recipes have gotten together. So, alanya ialah apakah resipi perpaduan yang paling best dapat chef kongsikan? Resipi perpaduan. Uh, okay. So, I just wanna wanna mention this that um, you know the basics of cooking. The grandfather of cooking is the French. The French are the the first to actually tuliskan, bukukan, theorize all the things to do with cooking, and uh, what we know as professional cooking started from there many many years ago. Uh, and back then there was a rule that if you create a dish, and this is in a time when there were not much dishes out there, if you as a chef created a dish, you have full rights. to cook and sell it for two years and then there's a gentleman's agreement that after two years it belongs to everyone and i think uh essentially that's the way that that i should answer this question and how we should look at food is that no dish truly belongs to anyone because at the end of the day we're all using a common set of ingredients that belongs to earth so it's it's very difficult for us to say that one thing belongs to one race when when truly it's it's more of a collective um experience of memories that makes it belong to a certain race but at the end of the day you know things like uh let's say for example a crepe suzette from france and a kueh ketayap from malaysia you know they they're extremely different but if you look at the core of it the ingredients are extremely similar the techniques are extremely similar it's just that one is you know full of drama with fire and 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 a lot of uh, a lot of uh, presentation there and then another one is you know uh, the humble 30 sen satu dekat tepi jalan so by makci but the recipes are essentially exactly the same the only difference is we use santan they use cream we use pandan they use vanilla so i i don't think there is a, a any one dish or a set of dishes that can unite or break us apart because i think it truly is based on your experiences one can belong to a certain race but at the end of the day the ingredients belong to earth and we should see it as that i think there's a lovely way of wrapping it up coming from a chef you know uh that can ing- ingredients uh, that, that makes us together so i think um I've given I'm being I'm I'm getting a cue daripada the organizer uh, katakan bahawa kita perlu wrap up uh, kalau boleh lah saya simpulkan apa yang saya dengar daripada tiga orang daripada bidang yang berbeza satu adalah musician satu adalah conservationist dan satu lagi adalah seorang chef uh, ramuan yang kita dapat ialah bahawa ada kemesraan komunikasi yang menyatukan kita budaya ziarah menziarahi yang Yogi B kata tadi dan Dr. Elia Gundong cuma uh, Nick kata dia tahu ni dia kena perap sikit kat rumah budaya mengambil tahu perbezaan kita budaya saling menghormati dan budaya untuk meredakan perbezaan kita jadi dengan itu uh, saya nak ucapkan terima kasih banyak-banyak 
Terima kasih. Uh, very uh, today is a very fun uh, crowd. Uh, the last time when I hosted it was very tension, you know. Bagainya. Oh. So um, maybe you know we can ask Yogi B to conclude this session one okay. last rap. Kalau boleh yang ada bahasa semua sekali. I know the oh. album bahasa, but try one. Yeah, whether it's going to be negara ku ke apa, biar menteri kita dengar bahawa Kementerian Perpaduan telah menyatukan tiga bidang berbeza. ya, yeah? Chef, conservationist, nationalist dengan a musician. Please, Yogi B, you have the full honours. As I said, you know, Poetic MO broke grounds in Malaysia and we are very proud of you breaking grounds in India. Thank you, thank you. I I don't know of any. I can't do one rap with all the songs. <laughs> uh, uh, I, um, I I can't think of uh, any of my uh, uh, any of my other stuff. Maybe I'll just I'll just I'll just do a beat or whatever. I'm not sure. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Thank thanks a lot. Uh, since I'm you know doing the closing, thanks thanks a lot, and I really appreciate. Can I just say one thing before we close? Yes, sure. Um, I just like to uh, say that Malaysia is a brand. Uh, whenever I go overseas, Malaysia is a brand that the world, uh, from my perspective, India, sees with 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 wonderment. They are they the terlalu terkagum dengan brand Malaysia dan our country is because we are so united. This country, as a majority of uh, Muslim uh, population, official religion is Muslim, but the biggest gathering is Thai Muslim. Every Every Christmas is celebrated in every shopping complex grandly. They are so they are so amazed how this country with so many so many religions, customs, uh, different food, different ecosystem is very peaceful. When people come here they they this they they from Penang to Johor they are just amazed about it. In India they are really amazed with Malaysia. That's why we bring in hundreds of millions of tourists and dollars. We sh- I want all Alsa students to understand that we should all protect, preserve, and nurture this brand that belongs to us. With this, I just finish with a beat, I guess. Terima kasih. Kita berkaya bersama keberbagaian di Raikan. Bring it out, preach out to everyone. Terima kasih. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us. We hope we'll have a session. Kementerian will call us after MCO to do the real thing. And we have all the performers. Terima kasih. Dr. Gudung, uh, Nick, and then you will have the chance to cook for us to taste your cooking. And then, yes. of course, uh, the best music. Thank you very much. Terima kasih, Thank you. Terima kasih. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Uh, maka dengan ini berakhir maka dengan ini berakhirlah uh, siri episod uh, webinar kita dan kami daripada Alsa Malaysia dan juga Kementerian Perpaduan Negara ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada para panelis kerana menyertai kami dalam siri webinar kita pada hari ini dan juga kami ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada para penonton di Zoom dan juga YouTube berserta Facebook kami juga ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Encik Rosli Dahlan kerana menjadi, sudi menjadi moderator kita pada hari ini dan juga tidak, kami ingin juga ingin mengingatkan bahawa sekiranya anda mempunyai masa dan lapang kami akan mengadakan satu lagi episod iaitu episod tiga yang akan datang dan se, sebarang berita akan disebarkan melalui news channel kami di Alsa Malaysia di Facebook, Twitter dan Instagram. Maka dengan itu saya ucapkan terima kasih kepada semua kerana menghadiri webinar ini.